Okay. For our presentation, we're at the beginning of it. I mean, everybody put their heads down. Mike. <laughs> Mike, face down. <laughs> Thank you. about to first at T E and now this is all about keeping your place and don't sneak out yeah and I can't wait another minute life is sure tolerance stinks ain't no time so help me maybe the relevance of this summary is to break out of all this misery. Kind of claim is to make them feel, but it can't seem to make any sense. And now I see is all about keeping your place and don't sneak out. I can't wait another minute. Life is short, tolerance stinks. Ain't no time, so help me, maybe. People die too fast, they get them back. There ain't no time. Help me. Help me. Okay, now we're going to show um, some videos. Hello class, today we will be reviewing the story of Lada Equiano. We WILLL be taking turns and connecting it with this piece of literature. Well Miss Adams, this story is a slave narrative, it's written in diary entries and describes the low tolerance slaves enduring the hard voyage to their destination. Good job Lisa. Now tell me how captivity, audience and purpose were used in this story. The slaves were taken captive and were treated very poorly. The purpose is to show the audience or person reading it that survival was the number one goal. Great. Now explain to me the term universal. Well, the story really has an emotional impact and makes people really ask every struggle for every day. Well, thank you, Lisa, for explaining the terms in a great manner. Hey, Bob. How have you been? So I'm reading a story called A Journey Through Texas with a class in taking at the community college. Could you help me with some of the terms? Sure, Dan. Okay, can you start by summarizing it for me? Then try explaining journal, primary and secondary source and archive. Well, it's a story of how Indians interact with people who had come from another place and the story is in primary source cause he is telling his own story through his journal and it's an archive because it's a historical document and in the secondary source because I wasn't actually there but in paraphrasing or rewording what happened. Okay. 
Now I know that we are analyzing this right now, which is one of your words and an example of Kant's uh, claim is in the story the native Indians didn't want to go north, but the foreigners did want to venture north. Okay, the purpose in the story was to show a guess at the end different people can come together and be civil. Yes, Dan. Well, I think you have this down. Thank you so much for the help. Bye. Bye. And then we also had another video to explain summary. And this summary is of a well-known movie.
But they were so great.